Hi guys, it's Jamie here and today I'm going to attempt to show you how to do very very simple plaited paper. We're going to start with the thick one for the theory of it and then go on to the thinner one for an actual project that I'm working on. So what we're going to do to do this simple paper weave, oh God, everything's going flying again, is fold it in half. I may have to stand up for part of this video because you want to be relatively accurate in this fold. And then I need a ruler, which I've just now removed from the whole scene, of course. And I want to do a width of the ruler at the top. So this is just to save you measuring and following lines and things like that. So that one. And then we're going to do the same basically all the way this way now, vertically. So that was horizontally. Now we're going to go vertically just to that horizontal line all the way along here. This is our weaving board, which you will see in a minute. The only thing is that has left that there and not that there. Let's try it on this side. <laughs> I may be rubbing out some lines. I think what I might do, I was trying to save a bit of time there, but I think what I might do is work out what the middle is. So I was going to, I didn't even do that correctly. See, I've been thrown now because that didn't work out like I wanted it to work out. Right, let's start with that again. Let's just go from the middle. I'm going to put another fold in this. Let's go from the middle this way and go to the outer edge that way. I think that will work better. This is only small. You could do this as a more master board. I don't know what would happen if you cut it up though because I've got a feeling it might just um, collapse on you. That looks a little bit more equal now with those edges. Then we're just going to take some scissors and we're just going to cut up to that line. That is our board. Grab a uh, eraser and just rub out any lines you've drawn. You're going to cut a similar size strips and then just along this edge we will need, well we'll work it out, we have our paper strips and all we're going to do is weave this piece of paper in between these pieces of paper and there's a basic checkerboard type pattern do the same thing again oh, it's really warm in this room we go in and out. Let's have a look. And pull it down to the weave edge. And then with this one, we're going to go under and up. See, I've worked it out now, under and up. Because you pull it down towards the thing you do not have to start right next to the weave you've just done because you can pull it down to it and you can pull everything down and straight when you've finished so bring that down there it's under so the only time this should cause a difficulty is when you get towards the end and you have less space for the actual weaving. Opposite way, so under, over. Push everything down as far as I can to create enough room for that last weave. And this time we're going over, under. And it is very, very tight now. May have to take a little sliver off this one to be able to do it. I think I'm going to take a little slither off, tiny, tiny slither off. So this time we're going over. Please work. This 
might take a bit more patience on my part. And now we have our checkerboard. And then yes, you could just go around the edges and glue down any that are loose. It's a two second job. A quickish, interesting background. Quick-ish, I would say ish. Once you get the hang of it, I'm sure it's much, much quicker. I think you do need to do a bit more careful measuring on the actual strips and the slits that you're cutting. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. That all helps me get recognized by YouTube and pushes these videos out to more people. Also, if you become a subscriber and you comment on three videos, there is a competition, a subscriber price draw for the 28 envelope flip journal, which closes on the 31st of August. And I will see you next time.